On today's Apple Daily, MagSafe Duo drops suddenly and shocks everyone. Apple announces their apps of the year. And two mini LED MacBook Pros plus iPad next year, says Ming-Chi Kuo. For the latest Apple news, rumors and leaks, every weekday at 12 UTC, join us in the iCave. Thanks, Siri. And if you want the latest Apple news, leaks and rumors every weekday at 12 UTC, all you need to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell to join my notification squad and get a shout out at the end of the next video, just like the guys at the end of this one. MagSafe Duo is more real than AirPower ever was. Yesterday, without any fanfare at all, the MagSafe Duo charger appeared on Apple.com, available to buy for the frankly insane price of $129. Alternatively, you could pick up a MagSafe charger and an Apple Watch charger and tape them to a piece of cardboard. That would cost you just $39 plus $29 for the Apple Watch one, $68 in total, and assuming you already own a cereal box or something like that, you can save yourself a solid $61. That could buy you a pair of Beats Flex wireless headphones and some lunch. On the plus side, it seems it wasn't as hard to build as the infamous air power, so fingers crossed it won't overheat and sneak back into the bushes. Apple announces their apps of the year. Apple has announced their top apps of 2020, and honestly, they really do, in a few cases, reflect the year that was. iPhone app of the year is Wakeout, a home workout app perfect for anyone stuck in the house while the gyms have been closed. Wasn't it nice of Apple to give them some love before launching Apple Fitness Plus any day now and probably taking a big chunk of their business away? On iPad, Zoom takes the top spot, and I doubt there are any apps that have grown their user base as much as Zoom this year. On the Mac, app of the year is Fantastical, which I always hear great things about, but I'm not a huge kind of power user of calendars, um, although I feel like I should check that one out. Disney Plus is the TV app that takes the prize with Endel on Apple Watch, and I think that's some sort of meditation type thing. It looked like it was talking about that kind of thing on uh, Apple stuff. I've barely used any of these best apps. I've used Zoom, I've used Disney Plus, Endel, no, the home workout one, no, sorry. But what do the winners get? Well, the winners will receive the most blinging aluminium App Store logo trophy that I have ever seen in my life, and it almost makes me want to start writing apps purely because I need one of those in my life. Two mini LED MacBook Pros plus iPad next year, says Ming-Chi Kuo. Minji Kuo has released a new note to investors around Apple's mini LED displays, predicting two mini LED MacBook Pros in 2021 and also a MacBook Air redesign in 2022. What is mini LED? Well, it removes the full coverage backlight and instead has many local dimming zones that shine through to allow OLED like performance with much less cost and less of the disadvantages like uneven brightness and burn in issues. Essentially, the way it works is a matrix of small LEDs across the back of the display that can brighten and dim individually. Quo also points out that the lower cost of Apple Silicon M-series chips is going to be a useful way to offset the additional cost of these new displays, although they are still far cheaper than the OLED equivalents. The redesign is expected to bring more of the iPad Pro and now iPad Air and iPhone design language to the max, so I'd expect them to lose the curved back uh, of the lid for a flatter, more angular design like the back of an iPad Pro, possibly with the lid itself being slightly thicker to accommodate the display tech, along with better FaceTime cameras that also support Face ID. I expect smaller display bezels and probably the curved corners on the display that reflect the iPad Pro's look as well. But it will be very difficult for Apple to actually get Face ID into the Max in the current form factor because there's just not enough depth to the display in order to actually put all the stuff in there that they need. That's also why most cameras on laptops look potato quality. And last of all, before we go, two new members for the notification squad. If you want to join the squad, all you need to do, like the video, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell and you will get a shout out just like these guys, giving Amin346 and Adam M. So thank you guys for joining the notification squad. And don't forget, every day when we put out the new videos, if I possibly can, I will be in the live chat and uh, answering anyone's questions that they've got at the time. But you can also ask any questions you want by using the hashtag iCaveAnswers in the comments or by tweeting me at iCave underscore Dave on Twitter. And use the hashtag there too, it's just fun. Thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.